Hey, my YouTube friends. Um, I'm at McDonald's in the Philippines in Dumaguete, and I just got a uh, double cheeseburger, um, large fries, and a large Coke, and it cost 280 pesos, which is about a dollar seventy. Um, pretty good meal. A lot of a lot of people here. A lot of young people. Um, picking up some ice cream for some of the staff at my hotel that really helped me out okay okay I'll be right there um, so I have three blocks to walk and I on my way here I noticed that there's so much security in Dumaguete not that there's any crime but I think they just they just prefer to have a guard at every establishment and I want you guys to mentally guess from here three blocks to my hotel how many security guards do you think I'll run across? I'm gonna count them out to you. So take a second, think how many. We got one right behind me. All right, we're gonna start counting. All right, my friend, thank you, Alexis. Have a good one. So he's one, across the street over at um, Rose Pharmacy. Same with the white shirt and the handcuffs. He's number two. Jolly B, you see he just opened the door over across the street. He's walking with the hat. He's another, he's number three. He's number three. All right. So again, we're in the Philippines. This is Dumaguete, pretty safe place. Very busy, I'm in the middle of downtown. And we're doing how many security guards do I run across in three blocks? All right. All of you have put in the comments what you think, how many guards you think are gonna be in here? All right. Now guard, here's another one. There's a female guard right here in uniform so that is four and uh, she's unarmed so three unarmed so far all right all these stores here thank you mama hi all right no pharmacy no security so we're at four no no my hands are full I can't even stop all right so we got a phone shop hey my friend number five you're number five He's got a pistol. Um, a lot of them have very, very, very old 38s. I mean, like rusty. Hey, what's up, brother? All right, they're very rusty 38s. You know, rusty. Um, some of the legit police have Glocks. There's number six. See, the rusty 38. There you go. Oh, uh, he's number six. Uh, and, I, and, I, <laughs> and I literally, I'm out a minute. All right, here we go. Heavy duty time. Hello. There he is. There's my boy. He's usually with another guy. There's the other guy behind him with the 12 gauge. He's got a he's got a 12 gauge shotgun. So that's seven and eight. All right, and I'm literally about a minute 30 seconds. Eight guards. Um, six of them unarmed. One with a 38, two with 38s, and one with a 12 gauge shotgun. All right, now we just made a turn. Let's pick up the pace. Let's pick up the pace. This could be called Dodge City. Not for the crime, but or maybe Remington. They renamed it Dumaguete Remington. I have a Remington back home in Florida. It's a uh, 870 model. All right, there we go. There's number nine. Does he have a pistol? No, he's got the MC holster. I know they're in here. I've seen them in here. Um, oh, well, we can't count them. We don't see them. So he's number nine. Uh, I saw them in there earlier. So number nine. We got a block and a half to go. We got nine guards already. And we got another one here. Yep, here we go. Hey, my brother, how are you? Number 10, you're number 10. All right, we got 10. Shout out 10. He's in a blue uniform. I don't know what that means. I don't know, we're not counting police. Hey, how you doing? You're number 11. <laughs> Good to see you. Be well. Number 11, electronic store or appliances, I should say. Hi, sweetie. Hi. How are you? People are so friendly in the Philippines. It's amazing. All right. So we're, cro we're crossing the second street. I say we're about three minutes in. And we got 12 and 13. Number 12 has got the 12 gauge, and the other guy's got a pistol. That's 13 armed guards. Two blocks. Bingo. Three more over there. That's. 16 
We got 16, 16 cards. I wonder if any of you could say that you would imagine 16 guards. Two of them with 12 gauges, three or four of them with pistols, and the rest unarmed. All right, we still got a, a block to go. All right, he's just a mannequin. He doesn't count. He's just a mannequin. All right. So, yeah, um, I just had McDonald's, and it was literally like a dollar or something. All right, another security guard, number 17, 12 gauge, opening up the back vault. Hey, how are you, my friend? Number 17, he's on the go, ready to go. Look at these little Tonka trucks. These things are funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so he is 17, and that is 18. That is 19. It is a bank, so they go heavy. And he's probably an armed guard for that little Brinks truck. A wannabe Brinks truck. So that's 17. Hopefully I don't get hit by a car here. And uh, without a doubt, he's another armored car. It's right on the corner, so I'm going to count this. 17. There he is. He opened the door. And he's got a pistol, so that's 18. 18, guys. Oh, this is my hotel. 18. All right, guys. How many of you have guessed... How many of you guessed 18? Uh, I'm probably hitting close to four minutes on the video. The 18 security guards. Uh, I don't see one across the street, but you know who's number 19? My security guard at the Essencia Hotel. Two star, I'm being generous. Two and a half star, maybe. On a happy day. Now, where is he? He's hiding on me. Hey, my friend. All right, so mission accomplished. Back in the hotel. Take an ice cream for you. Sir, one for the sir. security guard. These are these yeah, one for everybody. Yeah. All right, see? These are such great people. Say hello, YouTube. Hello, hello. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I'm back at the hotel, and I'm leaving in a few hours, and I decided to do this. Yeah, give her one, too. Ice cream for my lady over there. And uh, just having a good time. Uh, Trying to help other kids. I, uh, most of these, uh, most of these workers, most of these workers are only making uh, six dollars a day. So, um, so an ice cream, yeah. What did ice cream cost? Ice cream cost uh, forty-eight pesos. So it's about ninety-five cents. So I bought six of them for the staff, just to be nice. And I already gave them a few tips. But anyway, nineteen security guards, pretty damn amazing. Uh, I haven't seen any crime or anything, but. Um, I guess labor is so cheap they could just put security guards everywhere and most of them are just greeters opening doors being polite and being uh, professional and uh and that's it dumaghetti philippines 2023 and that's about it buddy have a good one bye bye hey your ice cream's over there i got one for you all right you got one yeah who's with you got okay great i got six six for everybody all right, so that's hard to believe. 19 security guards from just three blocks, maybe four and a half minutes. Um, say two uh, bad guys, say two uh, Russian gangsters decided to rob a bank here um, with uh, high capacity handguns and a bulletproof vest. They go in the bank, they disarm one guy, knock the other one out, raid the uh, behind the tellers, maybe hit the safe and run out with about 20 pounds of um, pesos. Um, someone would set off an alarm or someone would run screaming and those two gangsters would come out and there'd be a plethora of guards out there behind every jitney bus, behind every scooter, right? behind every uh, light pole there would be a rusty 38 or a 12 gauge shotgun um, laying into those gangsters and then where would they go? where would they go? no matter what block they would go down to the gunfire would draw more guards and they'd be firing on there would be like a gauntlet It'd be similar to the movie um uh, butch cassidy and the sundance kid with uh, paul newman and um robert redford um they were robbing banks in mexico uh and they underestimated the resolve of mexican um, federal police and at the end you know what happened to them they got eliminated uh, there's just so much security here. It's it's outrageous. Not that there's a lot of crime. I just, just think it's just for appearance. They hire these guards to open doors and to shoo away undesirable people from coming in. Um, 
a lot of business like I, I, there would be bars with uh, bands and then right on the curb there'd be 15 taxi drivers all sitting on their bikes listening to a free concert singing along or like karaoke and be three beggars all waiting for an American to walk out so that they could do this um, it's pretty nutty so 19 security guards just thought there was a funny thought thought you guys might enjoy it um, stay tuned for the next video guys hope you are uh, enjoying it uh, write a comment what you think and uh, like subscribe and share and uh, see you on the next one